back guys, it's your boy CNR Fishing. Hope y'all had a great day today. And uh, we got something special for y'all today. As you can see right here, got this new rod y'all have never seen before. And me and my boy Brandon, we went out to Academy, got some new rods, and uh, we're gonna tell y'all a little bit more in depth about them. And y'all stay tuned. All right guys, it's currently the next day. Something went wrong with the footage, but here's a better look at this rod and reel. This is my new cranking rod and the swim jig rod. It's a Lose Laser TXS. Um, I like the nice grip on the back end of it. Um, nice long butt. And uh, so when I'm when I'm fighting a fish, I can pin them down and uh, have something to hold on to. Uh, onto the reel, it is a uh, eight ball bearing system and it's a 7.5 to one gear ratio. For my cranking runs, I love a 7.5 to a 7.0 to one gear ratio. Onto the rod, the rod is a six foot ten medium heavy action. I love a six foot ten, and I want medium heavy action for my cranking rod. If it's if it's uh, medium, it's not going to have enough tip, and it's going to be too wiggly. And if it's a uh, heavy action, it's just going to be too. It's going to rip them. It's just going to rip the treble hook out of their mouth, and uh, going to have too hard of a tip. So what I mean by tip is you can't see me right now, but you can see my rod wiggle just like that. I don't have my bait down so you can't see it as good, but if it don't wiggle at all, it means you have too hard of a tip. So the last thing, it's a fast action. Um, but that's about it for the details. And uh, in a week or two, we're going to be doing a review on it. See how it skips, pitches, and holds up when you have a fish on. But uh, to end it, this, this video, was just some of it was just showing you on the rod, but I have some pretty cool clips. Some awesome stuff happened and some pretty sad stuff happened. Lost, lost a big one. But uh, hope hope y'all enjoy this video. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and y'all sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, before we get started in the video, I have a real quick announcement. We finally made it to 100 subs, which means a lot. Thank you for all the support. Um, when we get to 200 subs, y'all keep y'all keep sharing so we can get to 200 subs. Because when we get there, I'm doing a pretty good giveaway with uh, a thing that has a lot of value. So y'all might be interested. So y'all just keep sharing and keep supporting me and. Uh, Hope y'all enjoy the video. We're finna get into the clips. All right, finally made it in the boat. We're just, earlier we we're taking a couple casts on the bank. So, cause this is where we dock in. So I was gonna take a couple, of, couple a couple casts over here. So we didn't, so when we scare off the fish, we might've caught a couple before we scare them off. Skip it right under the tree, just like that. We think, we're thinking these fish are mid, like, like the ones that have already, like, like spawn and, like, are done with the fry and everything, like, ate them all and already not parenting them anymore, or not protecting them. We think they're out mid, like, like a little further than this weed line, so, for the ones that are staying up in the lily pads, because in ponds, you know, sometimes they stay mid, sometimes they stay shallow. We're going to be using the frogs for the pads and, like, Flipping some couple baits for the ones that are out mid. Do it slow like that. All right, guys. So when you're fishing lily pads like this, what you want to do is you want to find you a good pocket. So then you cast on the outside of that pocket. So I'm going to cast past that pocket, and you just work it normal. And once you get to the pocket, you want to stop. Because that's like, when you're in the pocket, that's where you can... That's where the fish can actually get a good strike at it and eat it. But when you're like on the lily pads, it's kind of, it's harder to get a, it's like your hookup percentage is, goes way down when they bite it in the lily pad. So you want, you want your fish to bite it when they're in the pocket. So it's just like normal. And then you can just slow it down once you get in the pocket. So this bandito bug out there. It would be good if I didn't get hooked up on weeds every time. That one? Yeah. Yes, sir. On the bean needle bug. Huh? What? I said, told you, 
I know. I think it might have been a reaction strike, honestly. It's a little chubby, dude. Like oh my god, he's weird. Alright, about a pounder. First fish of the day on the Okeechobee Crawl. Bandito bug. Get a release on him. There he goes. There we go. Got a fish already in about 10 minutes of already fishing. We've already got a fish. That's what we want. Got one. Got one. Second cast. There we go. <sighs> Little guy. There we go. Yes, sir. Two casts in a row. There he goes, little guy. Under that old cypress tree. Honestly, dude. Oh, I just got hit. Good one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Good one. Broke you off. Yeah. Nuh uh. Good one. PV? Drag. Pull in drag. Guys, I just broke off on probably the biggest fish of my life. He was pulling drag Ooh, right when I set the hook out. That was either that had that was either a eight. That was either an eight pounder or a gar. I'm hoping it was a gar, but I it felt just like a bass. God dang. Brandon's got one after. So that's three on the day already using a pocket crawl on the these little this little edge line. Just working it in between these these lily pads. But uh I'm retying right now because just missed the pot. When I hooked into that seven, that seven pounder last week. I couldn't, I couldn't move it, like, I, I couldn't move it, but, like, this one, straight off the hook set, it started, it was ripping drag. And then, it, two seconds, it broke me off. Can you hand me my phone? If I would have retied from the last two fish, I would have caught my PB. Brandon's going to release this guy. And he's off. He's already hooked up. Oh, that's, that's him. He, he spit it. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was my biggest fish ever. No, it was. I said it was five plus. It was. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Did y'all see that? This five plus that we just like. And that wasn't the same one. That was not the same. That, dude. There's two monsters that were just right there. A five pounder. Did, did you get that on video? Yeah, I seen. He, <laughs> did y'all see him jump out of the water? Th was, this spot's crazy. That was my PB. I don't care. Who's this? We just lost some giants, Brandon. Brandon's already hooked up. Good one? I can't tell. On what? The frog? No. Pocket crawl? Yeah. This, oh my god, this one's good. Net? Alright, Net, give me that. Put your foot up. Put your foot up. Brent. It might be a good one. It's a good one, Brent. Brent is a good one. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Head shakes. He's out, he's out, he's out. Alright. He was tangled up. No, he's not big. I'll still net him for you. Dude, he looked so big when he was fighting, did he not? Yeah. <laughs> he looked giant. I think he was wrapped on some lilies. Show the, show the viewers this fish on the pocket crawl. We're just on literally June bug or black and blue pounder. crawl. Just anything that represents a crawl, black and blue or something. And that's what we're catching on these on these edge lines. We, we told y'all we think they're cruising out here in this, about this deep steepness of water and uh guess we're right hey unhook me sir that's, that's this pond is, oh my god that's a four pounder right there y'all yeah that is a four pounder on look at that look at that bandit bug top of the lip he out there. he wasn't coming out anytime soon maybe he was <laughs> look at that y'all that that's what i'm talking about what do you got there what you I got know, okay. yes sir we're gonna get a couple pictures of this guy it's a nice four pounder and then we're gonna well, we'll weigh them. We'll get the weigh on on video, and uh, we'll 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 release this guy. All right, guys, 
Y'all can see that? Four pounder on the dot. Told y'all, we weren't lying. Nice chunky fish right there. Let's get back a little bit. There you go. We're gonna get a couple pictures and we're gonna release this girl. Got the frog tied on. Since this spot over here is a little weedy. So when we get to a spot that's a little bit more clear, we'll uh, tie on. Oh my God, she's sinking. Four yonder. Oh. Got him. Got him. Not a good one. Yes, sir. It's number four on the day. I didn't even, I didn't even cast this any very far. I just cast it on this edge line where they're supposed to be, and uh, beautiful, nice, dark color bass, and uh, let's get a release on them. All right, guys, we've moved spots for the 20th time. <laughs> Not really. There's a little beaver dam right there. This little point. I feel like there's one sitting in this little pocket. Oh, I didn't get weeds. That's surprising. Mm -hmm. Was it somewhere right there? Uh, caught this two and a half pounder on my frog. Twitch, twitch, pause. Hammered it. He got wrapped up in the weeds. Or in the lily patch, we had to go over there and get him out. We thought it was a huge one, but turns out only two and a half pounder. Still a good fish. It turns out three pounder on the morning. Three pounder. Three pounder. All right, guys, we're in the good spot. Are you hooked up? No. That's right. Caught this little dink on a frog. I was doing the same thing. Twitch, twitch, pause. On his lily pads? I, I, I had to pull him out of the lily pads, though. Kind of All right, guys, that's going to conclude it for the video. Yeah, as y'all can see, that's a pretty nice rod. Um, next video, as I said, we're going to be doing a review. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I know that some pretty crazy stuff happened when I, me and Brandon missed both two very big fish. But, you know, it happens sometimes. You got to keep going. But um, we're on that road to 200 subs. Just thanks for all the support. And, again, hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, catch you on the next one.